I just received my package from Amazon. I went with the Gundam tablet. This thing is huge. I only paid like 54 bucks for this. Well, I figured I'd just do this like blog type of style review for you guys because this is the first type of tablet that I've bought that wasn't Wowcom. I've actually had like three Wowcoms before this and they were always the basic tablet. I think the first one I got was this cheap cheesy like bluish. I'll see if I find a picture of it and show it to you here. And then I got a Bamboo Touch which I absolutely loved but with Wowcom and Apple the drivers eventually wear out and that's what happened with this. I got a bamboo touch and I made this wireless. It was working great on my Mac but as soon as I upgraded to, I think it was like two years ago, I upgraded one of the operating systems and this stopped working and you can no longer use the drivers which is really frustrating and if you go on Wildcom's website it stopped at 2016. They stopped making drivers for this. So I spent way too much time, hours upon hours, can't get this tablet to work. Now this is the bamboo. I think this was like a 4.2 inch screen. This one is actually a 10. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, look at the size of this. This one's like 10 by 6. So it's way bigger than this one. I'm actually really shocked. I was going to get another Wowcom basic tablet, but the cheapest one you can get is like $79. And I kept seeing these cheaper alternative tablets. This is actually the Gundam M10K 2018. So it's an older tablet, but it was on sale. I saw it's huge. I can't believe how big it is. And it has all these buttons on it. I saw it online. It was like $59.99. And then it had like a coupon that saved 15%. So I think I paid like 54 bucks with it with tax. And I'm like, let me go ahead and get this because my tablet's not working with Wacom anymore. They stopped the drivers, which is really frustrating on Wacom's part. And I wasn't willing to give them another hundred dollars, even though it's been quite a few years. I'm not a big tablet user. I do do artwork on the side. I did a comic book. I used to be really big into them and I got an iPad Pro, which I can use Sidecart with this, with my iPad Pro, which I should do a tutorial on. And it works really great. It's just, it's in the house and I'm out in the office and it's hundred feet away. And I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but sometimes it's just nice to have a tablet at ready for when you want to do a project. You get into the mode of actually creating and you're on that roll and you're creating. You don't want to stop and be like, oh, let me go get my iPad and go into the house and then you get sidetracked by Xbox or some TV on Hulu or Netflix or Disney Plus and then you don't come out to the office and then your project gets delayed. So I like to have stuff at the ready so that way when I'm getting creative, I can go ahead and do it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. And it came with a lot of great stuff. It came with a pen. It came with the cable adapter. It came with extra nibs. It also came with a glove and it came with a tote bag, which I don't see me really using the bag. I wanted to give a different brand a shot, and if I see myself using this tablet more, I would like to get one of the screens by one of these companies. The three companies that kept getting my attention was X-Pen, this Gundam one, and Hui, Huion? Huion? Anyway, they all have weird names. Even Wacom is a little bit of a weird name. But I kept seeing different alternative tablets, and I wanted to try them, since I did have experience with the Wacom, and I have an experience with the iPad Pro, what I'm really wanting to do lately is I got into obviously the 3D printing. I would like to get into Blender and actually start sculpting in Blender and making some cool models that I can print and possibly share with you guys. Later on down the line after I've used it for a while, I'll give you my final thoughts on this product. And like I said, this was not given to me. This is something I bought with my own money and I just wanted to take a shot because I always wanted a Wildcom Intuos. It's still $400 for a tablet this size, opposed to this one, which was 53 bucks. So I'm like, let me try and use this and see if it's worth having this size tablet for the price point. I'll have these other companies caught up to Wacom. So that's kind of what I want to see is going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I have a Mac, I'm going to install the drivers, and I'm going to see how this goes, because that's my worst fear is, will the drivers install on this thing? Will it, will it work? I mean, I researched it, it said it will, but is it going to be a pain in the butt? Or all right, so I'm messing around with this for about an hour now. I am pleasantly surprised so far. I'm not giving it my final review, but it worked exactly how I thought it was gonna do. If you hit the middle button and then you use this scroll wheel, it'll zoom in and out. If you hit the button again, it's the brush size. I love that. That is such a great time saver. All these keys are super easy to program. The software is 
really, really impressive. Like, off-name tablets, I wasn't expecting the software to be this easy. It installed very easily. When I opened up the software, it walked me through. I had to approve it through privacy settings and screen capture settings. I had to allow the Gundam tablet. So you just go in there, you unlock your machine. It's in security and preferences, and you go to privacy, and then you go to unlock your computer, which you put in your password. It worked, and the pressure sensitivity is awesome. But I just wanted to give you a first impression. I just got it today. I unboxed it, and I'm really pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I thought it would be cool. I thought it would be good. I didn't realize how big it was going to be. I didn't realize how good it was going to be. Like, very premium type of feeling product. And it was rated number one on Amazon. And really impressed so far. So, Gundam, I hope I'm saying it right. Great job so far. I'm going to play with this for a couple weeks. Do some artwork. All right, so it's been about three weeks. I just wanted to show you a sketch that I did. I actually did it in Affinity Photo. And I wanted to just show you guys. I did a rough layout. And I used this tablet. And I did the pencil. Got rid of that. The inking with it. I did the color. did the shading. And then lighting. I don't know if you could really draw in this program, but I actually enjoyed it. It's a lot like drawing in Photoshop, and I used to enjoy drawing in Photoshop, even though it's not really a drawing program. It's more of a photo touching up program, but I've always had good luck with it. I did a little Holly Quinn. I really enjoyed this program with this tablet. It worked really nice. All right, so I just wanted to show you really quick in Affinity Photo what it looks like the pen. I used to use the pen buttons right here to zoom in and zoom out. I don't have to do that anymore. You have this ability right here. If you push the middle button right here, you can zoom in and out, which I love. The button is a little squishy. If you hit it again, you can adjust the brush size, and we're going to adjust the brush size there, which I love. The button's a little flimsy, but the turning radius is awesome. This doesn't have an eraser. That's the only downfall so far is this doesn't have an eraser. I'll show you the pen pressure, which is really nice. I can go really light. I can go really hard. I'm just doing little slashes here just to give you an idea. And then you have all these individual buttons. You have the undo on right underneath the scroll wheel. I made this one a hand tool because I want to be able to move it around. Their presets were really nice. If you hit this button right here, it'll go to the eraser. So if we click on it, it goes to the eraser and we can erase and we can adjust the eraser. And then I made this button up here, the brush button. I think actually it was standard the way they did it. And then if you click this again, you can go back to the eraser. But if you click it again, it just starts going through the eraser functions. It don't go back to the brush. So that's the only thing that I didn't like. And then the other one's left mouse click. Really good for Infinity Photo for you guys that are using Infinity Photo. All right, so another program that I tried, because I tried a couple different programs, is Sketchbook. And this is a free piece of software. And I'll just show you the strokes real quick. We'll use the ink brush to show you. There you go. So you can kind of see. The brush size, you can change. You hit the button again. This one's up and down. I don't know why it does that. And then zooming out wasn't zooming out. It's actually scroll up and down. So they changed it a little bit. So it's going to change from program to program. And that's why you're going to go into the settings quite a few times. And you can change keys to whatever you need. You just click on it. F5. We'll just make that F5. You can go in here and then you can change the keyboard and then put in any number you want or switch to a mouse button. A lot of people said things about the settings. I thought they were really good. I didn't really have anything bad to say. And then even the pen, you can adjust the pen pressure. You could change the buttons on the pen. You can change the pressure sensitivity. And then you could also adjust your work area. So you can actually change the work area if you want to make it 90. I don't know. I didn't mess with all this stuff. But you can actually change the display size and type. I have dual screens. And it's only working with one screen. I think I could do full screen in here. I haven't messed with these. You could do the full area ratio display. There's a lot of settings in here. Everything kind of worked great out of the box. So I wasn't really messing with that. We're going to go ahead and open up one of the drawings I did. And this one I did a Sokotano. So I just did a layout first like I did in the first sketch. Went over that layer and tried to readjust and get her looking better. And I went ahead and drew in the lightsaber, just kind of a reference of where I want the lightsaber to be. And then I put in some more of her details. Then I went ahead and inked her. Then I threw some color on her. So we had color, just basic colors that I wanted to put on her. Then I did some shading, some lighting, some highlights in the eyes, the lightsaber, 
Then I threw some green highlights on her to kind of cast from the lightsaber. And then just threw a background in there. And boom, we have a Sokotana. Draw with it. And that's why I bought this. I, I want to start sculpting and because I have a 3D printer and I would like to sculpt stuff and just 3D print it from there. This is going to help me do that. You know, it has pressure as you can see. And I'm just messing around. And I haven't really got into this. I do want to show you some of the hotkeys that I pre-made for this. And the biggest one was this button down here. I made that one so I could spin it. So I just hover the pen over and I could spin it and go in here and draw and put pressure on here and really build something out. You know, it's like barely doing anything or I could go really hard. It has pressure sensitivity and this is great. It has undo, same as the other buttons. If I click on the mouse wheel, I could zoom in and out, which I loved. If I hit it again, I can adjust the brush size. This is why I bought it and this is what I was really excited about to see how this would work in it. Just to show you what its capability is that you can actually sculpt in Blender. So I would assume this would work for ZBrush. So those are three different programs that you can use with this tablet just to give you an idea and it works really well. I'm very happy with it so far for the price point and the size and the pressure. It's it's awesome. I don't know if I told you guys this in the video but the pen does not require a battery. Now there's not much bad to say about this tablet. The only thing I told about was a little bit of the wonky button which that's just nitpicking the connector does make me concerned if you hit this just right you probably will break it I did 3d print a stand for this to be up so that way I can hold my hand right here while I'm working with it it does not have a eraser it has some kind of keyhole kind of thing going on here I don't know if you guys could see that I, I don't know why they did that but you do have the two buttons on here the pen isn't the greatest in the world if we're nitpicking it's not bad it holds in your hand pretty nice you have the buttons I I really don't have anything bad to say about it, except I wish it was a little wider at the end. But other than that, there's really nothing bad to say about the tablet. I love all the hotkeys. Obviously, I've said it a million times. I love that little wheel that you can spin around. My overall thoughts, guys, for under $60, you can't beat this tablet. I mean, it's huge, battery-free pen, all those touch keys. If you're not looking for a screen tablet and you just want to go with a replacement like I did, I personally think it beat out the Wacom. For the $79, bucks. I would get this and Instead, you know, you're saving quite a bit of money and you're getting more real estate and you're getting a better tablet and you're getting more pressure points. The $79 one, if you've seen it, the hotkeys are at the top. I don't know what Wacom was thinking with that. I liked them on the side on the old bamboo. I don't know why they changed that around. I would definitely go with the Gundam M10K 2018. I would definitely go for it. For me, it's a five out of five star, guys. And like I said, I bought this with my own money. You clicking the link down below does nothing for me, so I do not have a dog in this fight. If you see it cheaper somewhere else, pick it up. I don't make anything on this. This was just my adventure and that's why I kind of did this video a little differently. It was more of a vlog style type of video. That's it for me guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And ring that bell if you want to see more of my content. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys! So I was talking crap about the pouch like I would never use it. So I want to play with this on my laptop a little bit. I'm using it. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just putting it out there.